with one exception. You must be Edward Bloom. How do you know? No one would come out here unless they're business. No one would have business with me except for you. You're buying the town. Apparently, I overlooked this one piece of it, and I'd like to remedy that. You see, in order for the town to be preserved, the trust must own it in its entirety. And so I've heard. Now, I'll offer you more than it's worth, and of course, you won't have to move. Nothing will change except the name on the deed. You have my word. Now, let me get this straight. You buy the swamp from me, but I'll stay in it. You'll own the house, but it'll still be mine. I'll be here, and you'll come go as you please to one place or another. Do I have that right? In so many words, yes. Yeah, then I don't think so, Mr. Bloom. If nothing's going to change. I'd just as soon as not change in the way things haven't been changing all this time. It's not like you'll lose anything. You, you can ask anyone in town. Yeah. Why are you buying this land, Mr. Bloom? Some sort of midlife crisis? Instead of buying a convertible, you buy a town? Helping people makes me happy. I'm not convinced you should be happy. I'm sorry. H have I offended you? No. You did exactly what you promised. You came back. I was just expecting you sooner. Your Beeman's daughter. Your name's different. Did you get married? I was 18, he was 28. Turns out that was a big difference. <laughs> I won't be selling you this house, Mr. Bloom. I see. Well, thank you for your time. It's stuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I... It's okay. Just leave it. No, I, I'll... Please, just go. B go. Most men in that situation would accept that failure and move on. But Edward was not like most men. characters, but, well, just one pair of legs. <laughs> As the months passed, he found more and more things to fix, until the shack no longer resembled itself. 